We're going to go to Gloria from Macon. Hi, Gloria. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good. Go ahead with your question. Uh, in April of this year, I had a pacemaker put in my heart. And uh, approximately three weeks after the pacemaker was inserted, it began to ooze. And I called the doctor to tell them about it. And they kept telling me to keep my appointment at the end of the next month. And I didn't know what was happening, but I got an infection. What had happened is the stitch had come undone, and you could see the pacemaker. And I got an infection, and I kept trying to get a, the doctor to see it. And finally, I went to my personal physician rather than the heart doctor. Okay. And she put me on uh, antibiotics, and she had a fit. She said, Gloria, you've got an infection in your pacemaker. Okay. And finally, I got back in touch with the, doc the uh, doctor that put it in, and they agreed to see me after uh, my doctor called them. And I went in to see him, and he had a fit. He said, you've got to go to the hospital immediately, and I'm going to have to do an ablation on you. He had told me I had AFib. And I let him put me in the hospital again, and laying there, I thought, now, this is something is bad wrong, and I fixed and let him do an ablation on me because, and I thought, I've got to get a second opinion. Okay. And that night, I had them to dismiss me. When he came in, I told him I wanted to get a second opinion, and I went over to another hospital, and they were horrified that I had that infection, okay. and I had to have two strong intravenous antibiotics for about two weeks I was in the hospital and they had to take that pacemaker out and put another one in and I went through a lot of pain and suffering and a, a, a lot to go through and I wondered if I had a recourse. Okay. Right. Gloria, uh, <clears throat> you may or may not. A wound infection is a fairly common thing. Uh, it can happen uh, certainly without anybody uh, being careless or negligent. Uh, a delay in diagnosing it would be the issue and whether or not that delay uh, caused a worsening of your condition and and you to have to have the second procedure uh, or whether if they had discovered it earlier on or if you'd gotten in to see the operating surgeon when you first noticed the the drainage from the uh, surgical site, if you had gone in then and they had started you on a regimen of antibiotics, then everything else may have been avoided. Mm -hmm. You were right and very wise to uh, pull back and go get a second opinion. And I think now you should get a legal opinion and call mm -hmm. a lawyer because you very well may have a case which, which would be, which would sound in medical negligence, but would essentially be for the delay in diagnosis and for whatever the additional problems and harm might have been caused by that delay in the diagnosis. The legal information supplied in this broadcast is general information only and is not intended to be legal advice for any given situation. Do not rely on broadcast information without consulting an attorney. Contingent attorney's fees refers only to those fees charged by the attorneys for legal services. Such fees are not permitted in all types of cases. Court costs and other additional expenses of legal action usually must be paid by the client.